All right, hello and welcome back to Quest for Glory. Uh, Quest for Glory 1, that is. This is going to be our redone version of these fighters uh, quest line, I guess, um, which is particularly important to do since the... I mean, they were all kind of problematic, the initial ones, but uh, the fighter was truly terrible with like 75% of the audio completely cut off. Um, so we will of course be Thor, oops, not Thur, Thor, not Theor either. There we go, spelling's hard. Um, all right, so let's just kind of do whatever. Um, I don't feel like parry and dodge, I don't worry too much about. So yeah, let's focus on these guys. Um, okay, that's fine, and we'll start. This, I'm going to do it relatively similar to how I did my original version, which is to say, just kind of a rapid playthrough. I'm not going to focus on any of the dialogue. I'll try to click through everything just for the sake of ensuring that I don't miss any points. Um, but overall, I'm not going to be very worried about that. I'm just going to try to do everything as quickly as possible. So we'll run through the oops conversation uh, with our sheriff here. And then we can move on. Oop, that's right, we gotta bring our speed up. We don't have anything of significance to talk to Zara about. Um, she does tell us a few useful bits of information about the curse and what's going on to at least get us started. Um, but we don't need anything from her. We're not going to buy any spells, so we can move on. Pop into the guild hall. We will sign our book. We will read the book. And we'll take a look at the bulletin board tells us about the healer and um, problems with the brigands, Elsa missing, being missing, the baronet being missing. Now I think there's a second bit of dialogue in here. I don't think it's any of these guys that we have to click on. Bulletin board, the castle, the healer, um, yada, yada, yada. None of this is exceptionally interesting to us. We will try to click on everything with regards to Spielberg itself. But other than that, we should be able to get out of here fairly quickly. And I guess we should ask about the curse and the Baron. And the need for a hero. All right, that's enough. Farewell, Wolfgang. It has been nice knowing you. Spells while we're here, we can pop into the inn. And we can have a quick talk. Welcome. And of course, by talk, I mean not talk. Um, so yeah, I don't think we care much at all about any of this. He tells us a little bit about Abdullah. We will come back sometime at dinner to meet with, but won't worry about that now. Shima, very good. Um, and yeah, we'll stay here some night, but we don't need to do it right now. So let's leave town. Breeze is cool, very nice. Went ahead. Eh. Yeah, let's go up north. We'll deal with the, the healer first. Um, all right, so can we pick up rocks here? No, we have to go over here. Can I go that way? There we go. Pick up some rocks. Which takes a bizarrely long time. I'll just get them until we feel overloaded, I guess. I 
There we go. And let's see. Hopefully that should be enough. Let's try to knock down this nest. See if we can get the ring. I feel like I should have trained up my throwing off screen just because uh, this animation right here is just so much longer. Whereas when you just throw off screen on a random screen in the woods, it happens a lot faster. Our abilities would increase faster. But such is life. Hey, we're no longer overloaded. That's delightful. Praise be. All right. Let's grab the ring. Head into the healer. Blah, 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 blah. Spell components. We do always want to make sure we ask her about spell components because otherwise, um, if we kill a... Um, a troll or a cheetar, we won't take the um, items off of them, which is annoying. And something you don't want to learn at the last minute. And blah, 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 blah. Oops, wrong one. Magic. She says she uses just a little bit of magic in what she does. Tells us a little bit about her missing ring. And the reward. Six golds. I could use six golds. Brigands, the castle, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful. All right, we're done. Let's give her the ring. And then, oh, good. We're no longer overloaded yet again. And then we are assaulted. I think we'll survive. All right, midday, day one. Let's carry on. Uh, I suppose we might as well, while we're here, click through this conversation. He's another one where I think we actually do have to not ask about everything, but we actually do have to ask about the brigands in order to get all of the story points or uh, whatever. There we go. Yeah, we had to ask about the leader. Okay, very nice. We can move on. Let's go up. Actually, I was going to go to Arana's piece, but instead, let's go... Let's continue our throwing adventure and see if we can't knock down the seed here. Let's see, where are we at? 27. Why don't we do a couple of rounds here of just throwing out here. Oh, hey, goblin, fun. Let's kill it. Shouldn't be too difficult. We put a pretty good amount of our skill into strength. Um, not to mention the fact that there was just the single goblin and they really only pose a threat when there is a large body of them, as we'll see shortly. All right, let's build up our throwing a little bit. Shouldn't take too much at all. We'll do one more round. That's enough. Shouldn't need much more skill than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not interested in the max weight right now. Um, all right. So yeah, I think let's let's make a little plan here. We'll uh, we'll get the spore and then I think head down to the dryad next, so we can collect our acorn and start working on the dispel potion. And after that. Head up to, well, we'll probably go to Arana's piece first just to grab the flowers that we need for it. Let's see, what's our skill at? 37, will that be enough? Probably head over to the Meeps, collect the green fur. All right. Maybe we'll make a pit stop at the goblin training ground on the way. Oh, there was a source. Let's go kill it. 
As a fighter, we want to make sure we kill at least one of every enemy. I usually don't like bothering with Sauruses, because you just don't get a lot of value from them, so happy to get that out of the way, and then probably not really bother too much with them after that. Hopefully we can find a brigand sometime in this episode as well, just so that we can get rid of the three initial enemy types. Um, there we go. I didn't feel like waiting anymore, so we'll just kill this one. Get introduced to the Goblin Training Ground, which... What I'm actually going to do is, pretty much um, after this video, I'm just going to do a lot of um, training off-screen, just for the sake of kind of facilitating things. Um, so after this video, I'll do all that training and, and probably come back with pretty much um, ideal stats, or at least close to ideal stats. I don't know if the Meeps will give us the green fur yet. I could try, but I'm not going to bother. We can just head down to the... I do want these mushrooms. Um, yeah, I'm just going to head down to the Dryad first, and then we'll pop back up to the Meeps. So here we see the white stag. We'll follow it over. This certainly is not an actual speed run. I don't really enjoy speed runs in general, but I'm not sure how quickly people can do speed runs. Probably pretty fast. There's obviously not a huge amount. Yes, I'm one with the woods. I will aid you. I will bring you this seed. Yes, you may have it. All right, then there's a young woman who needs help. You need a potion to break enchantments. These are the ingredients. Flying water. All right, let's grab that acorn. Go up to see the meeps. Oh, I totally forgot to go to Arana's piece. That's fine. It's not very out of the way. Chat. Hi. All right, so we'll talk. Rocks, holes, blah, blah, blah. Fur. Green fur. Green fur is the best. It'll pull some off for us, eventually. All right, the brigands and magic. It'll give us a scroll that is going to be useless to us, but I like to collect it anyway because it just feels like I haven't done my job otherwise. Um, all right, that's everything. Goodbye. Grab the scroll. Green fur. And move along. Come back over. Might as well do our second fight here. Come on, little goblins, come out and play. We don't have much stamina right now, but I think we should have enough for this. All right, there we go. Cool, okay. And, um... Yeah, might as well introduce ourselves to Bonehead. I don't actually think we need to. We think we can just collect the gem without talking to him, but just to be certain. And we'll strike a deal. He wants a glowing eye. Sure, I'll help you. Some kind of gem. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Goodbye, Bonehead. Oh, there we go. There's a brigand. But, oh, we have terrible stamina for this. This is a terrible time. Oh, I'm so sad. Run away. Oh, devastating. Forgot to rest. Sleep for a bit. Oh, it's almost... Oh, it is nighttime. All right. Well, it's probably too late to go to town, so let's just go to Arana's Peace. Grab some flowers. Grab some food. And take a nap. Probably do a few more things. Maybe we'll go buy our apples and uh, talk to Browgy, or however you say his name. Get our gem. I don't know why I'm going over here. I want to go down to town.
Okay. Probably pop in here quickly. Give the acorn and give her the other ingredients as well that we have. Green fur. Acorn. Fairy dust we'll have to get at night, so we'll do that later. There's the flowers. And I'll just tell her these mushrooms. And I also like to purchase some stamina potions as they tend to be extremely helpful when um, doing your trading. Good, plenty. All right, let's depart. Head into town. Yes, look both ways, proud of you. Won't bother going in here yet, no real benefit. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, you have to say way too much. Yes, we ask the like 14 year old or however old she's supposed to be out on a date. Feels a little creepy. Might be okay um, for kind of the time frame, I guess this is set in, but uh, we're not playing in that time frame, so it mostly just feels creepy. All right, let's buy some apples. I'm gonna buy five armfuls of apples. Excellent, and we can head out. Let's go find Brogy. Now, obviously this is a little out of order since we don't have the rhyme yet and we won't be able to get into see Baba Yaga, but that's okay. I'm in no rush. I don't want to talk to her yet anyway. Hello. Nice to meet you. What do you got to say? Anything useful? Gem, mead, fruit. Dogs barking like crazy. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Hopefully not. Let's give him this fruit. He's very happy, enough to fill his home, and we get our gem. Very good. All right. Um, so with that, we have raced through a good chunk of things. You know what? Is this Zauberberg? Is this anything? There we go. Tell you what, we will end things here. When we come back, we will take a trip up to visit Erasmus quickly, um, and then we will continue on. So I'll meet you back here. It'll actually be several days later, and I will have done a great deal of training before then. But uh, I'll still come back here for when we start. So till then, see you.